Uh, Caffeine Lab, if you guys ever see this video uh, and you need people to be experimental, people to experiment the caffeine on, um, please reach out to me. Caffeine Lab coming soon. I want you guys to, I will work for free. Um, I've been on the road for probably about a good hour, hour and a half-ish. Uh, feeling much better after yesterday. Um, you know, I just, I'm not a big fan of losing. That's just, uh, I know a lot of people, I, I haven't actually uploaded that video yet, so I, I haven't read the comments. But a lot of people are always just like, hey, Luke, it's okay, don't worry. Guys, it's always a big deal. It will always be a big deal. Uh, when I lose at anything, board games, anything, it's just that competitive nature. And although I do acknowledge it, I don't like feeling that way. I always try to change things up, find a better solution. Uh, is that a mountain behind me? Wow. Um, and, and trying not to and not to dwell on things, but today is a new day. I'm feeling much better. Uh, like I say, I've been on the road for about an hour and a half. How about another maybe 30, 45 minutes to go? Then I'll arrive at my destination, but I'll save you guys the trouble and the trip we're gonna spend. <sighs> so not sure what happened. I got within about 10 minutes of here actually i'm in leo by the way got about 10 minutes from within here and uh the sun just <sighs> okay so finally all situated um but uh for those of you who don't know i'm actually in the in leo i'm in actually the old town of leo but i'm actually staying here in a hostel that's in old town so gotta check in then gonna try to walk around and as i said i'm hoping that the sun oh that's not looking good but like I say, I'm hoping that the hoping that the sun will be out for just a little bit. checked in this is like one of the best hostels i can't remember the name of it uh gestama hostel and bar um and it would be i'd probably say one of the best hostels in leo it's because it's a little bit outside of the center so you don't have to deal with the craziness of the center and loud people it's really on a quiet street and you really feel like you're kind of you're a french person in france with the and especially here in old town with the with the old streets you have the old bakeries. So this is a good place to stay. I highly recommend it and I feel super safe. I've gotten back to the hotel at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. But as you guys can see, I was hoping the sun would be out, but I think, and this is one of those things, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. right here that cafe lab actually um and they have a coffee it's from i think costa rica and brazilian coffee uh, i didn't put any sugar in it take a look at that and i promise you it might not look good but i promise you it's good uh totally worth the four euros paid for it but now it looks like a little garden that no one's at You know, honestly, this is one of the things that I love about getting away from places and seeing, exploring new places. And when you arrive in a new city, of course, this isn't like a new city. I mean, I've come here, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 times before. Um, but always when I go to a place that's not where I live at, always going there with such an open mind, no matter how many times I've been there before. And, you know, 
This is so good, goodness, gosh. This is worth five dollars, five euros, excuse me. Goodness. But anyways, yeah, one of the things about when you go to other places, uh, going there, no matter how many times you've been there, always going there with an open mind, which is one thing that I always, always try to do, is go there with an open mind, no matter how many times I've been there before. And it reminds you, although it's cool to have itinerary when you go to places, because I've seen the comments of people like, hey, you should research things before you go there, you should know, you should make a plan before you go. No, I like going there with such an open mind that all I can do is learn when I'm there, because I know nothing going in there. And not ever being, uh, just because you find out, oh, someone said where I need to go is to from point A to point B. Never be worried, you know, when you when you have a plan, you want to go from point A in the city to point B. Never be scared to stop and enjoy all the little amazing things that you see along the way. Be curious. These are all like, I mean, I know I feel I feel really crazy saying it to you guys, but it's the things that really I feel super calm right now. By the way, in this quiet area but these are the kind of thoughts that come to my mind and just want to share with you guys when you guys are traveling be open to everything just be open go into everything with an open mind and that would be the thought of the day uh gonna finish drinking this coffee in quiet and peace uh and then explore the city market so if you're in this grand place right here this name of it like the big place or the big square right here in the middle of this place is a little market place that is kind of secret but they have a lot of bookstores a lot of they have a lot of books old artwork a lot of stuff like that uh and i think it's open today square area it's like really quiet with like nice music playing in here but outside the square it's all hate and craziness but here calm definitely need to come check this place out if you guys are here and leave oh and apparently the only person who has the books in english is this one right here their name is marie but they're not uh they don't come until three o'clock normally <sighs> okay back to the sun One kind of little problem here in Lille. Um, it's not a huge problem, but it is a little bit of a problem. I haven't found my place yet. Like every city I go to, normally I find it in the first day that I'm there, the first afternoon, first hour or two that I'm there. It's that place where I can go, I can get some work done, it's chill, it's relaxed. And I can't find that here. I'm not sure if it's because I always come here on the weekends or not, but I definitely need to find a place like that because I came here to try to get a lot of work done. But if I can't find a place to work, Okay, I'm not saying you have to get uh, crepe if you're in France, but if you find a place that's making fresh crepes and they're making it like fresh, not already made, always stop for a crepe in France. I kind of have like no 
destination necessarily. I came here, I actually came here to Leo. I have to, well, I came here for a lot of reasons, but uh, today definitely uh, came to find a place to get some work done, but the sun has been out, so it's kind of changed my whole itinerary, which is what I always try to tell you guys, always have an itinerary, which is nice, but don't be afraid to sometimes change it up to just enjoy the moments and react to what it is that you see. It's like I've got my taste of the sun. Uh, I'm feeling good, feeling great now, but only problem is it's freezing cold, so, Time for her. Yeah, definitely a nice hot coffee. Uh, it is beautiful, the sun is out, but it's super cold outside though still, even with the sun. The sun is beautiful, but for some reason it is not heating like uh, like it normally does in the south of France. But uh, yeah, I can get some work done, have this coffee, charge the GoPro, and no idea what's next. That, that should be the name of like every vlog. Like, no idea what's next. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so finally went back to it. three o'clock. They had books in English, got me a, got me a damn brown book. Um, but it is freezing cold. <sighs> Sun is going away, no idea what's next, but definitely go check out that place, especially if you guys are English speakers. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are. It's right here, it's open, and after you can have a beautiful coffee with a nice book that you just got or anything like that. And uh, God, I'm actually too cold to even think. I have no idea where we're spending. And by the way, this was actually filmed like a couple days ago, so tonight is actually the Super Bowl. Um, and I have no idea where to watch it, so I'm kind of going around asking where people watch it at, because uh, I've learned from living here in Europe that, and living overseas, uh, for example, the Super Bowl comes on here, I think at one in the morning, but when I lived in Australia, the Super Bowl came on at six in the morning, uh, so gonna try and find a place or something that is playing the Super Bowl, uh, but here in France, and American football, you can barely even watch a regular season game, but uh, yeah, gonna kind of walk around, find out where to watch the Super Bowl, figure all this stuff out, we're gonna spin again. Okay, yeah, just getting into the hotel room now. Um, it is about two and a half hours later. Uh, it's 9 p.m. Super Bowl, I think, starts at 9. I mean, 11.30, 12 o'clock-ish. So I'm gonna try to maybe rest the legs for a little bit before going back out. I totally forgot I had a place that I that I kind of forgot about that is like my place here in Lille. Uh, and there, they told me that they will play the Super Bowl for me, even though they're gonna be closed. Uh, so maybe rest here and uh, we'll be there at the Super Bowl thing later. If I wake up. Okay, so it is a little after one o'clock in the morning, uh, and now off, I got about a 15 minute walk off to watch the Super Bowl. Okay, finally here, you wanna see what the Super Bowl party looks like here in France, voila. At the moment, it's, uh, it's half time, and I guess two things really different not including the time when it comes to watching the Super Bowl overseas. Um, first thing is that the announcers explain the rules for the whole first half of the game. They must be explaining the rules. And the second thing that's different is they don't have the, they don't have the American commercials. They just have the French commercials. Nothing against the French commercials, but I mean, the American commercials, they're paying $5 million every 30 seconds, so. Um, yeah, a little sad, but happy to be watching the Super Bowl in France. It's a difficult thing to find to be able to watch overseas. Ah, okay, second half is starting. Halftime show, really nice, really good. Um, and I think I'm gonna just gonna enjoy the rest of the night. I think I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the game. Camera goes away. Thank goodness I thought of this ahead of time. So we're gonna end today's vlog where I ended it earlier today with this kind of ending in mind, thinking that I'd be here watching this. So yeah, we'll spin back to there. <sighs> okay, so if I, as I'm sure I've told you guys plenty of times, by the way, this is like the emergency ending because I have a feeling traveling, meeting people, doing a lot of things that a lot of times 
there's never really a good time to end the vlog but here in the Grand Place here feels like a pretty good place to film that emergency ending to the vlog um, but just want to thank you guys for watching everything and uh, your comments and questions and um, it's pretty cool I've had a lot of not downtime lately but time when I just want to be away from my computer or I'm, I want to take a break from reading or something like this and I don't want to really talk to anybody um, or write anyone but I'll go through the comments and I'll read through the comments and read through um, you guys messages on Instagram and it just really means a lot and it's really inspiring to me um, I don't ever want you guys to think that it's only a one-way street that I'm the one inspiring you guys because you guys inspire me just as much if not more because I, I, I really feel that the things that I'm trying to help people with they're actually working and that people actually are motivated and actually are getting out their comfort zone so it really means a lot to me I just want to say please keep it coming keep the questions and messages all that coming is my fuel and I want to thank you guys for watching and podcast crew if you're here uh, thank you guys for being here and uh, on that note uh, I'm gonna get out of this freezing cold I'm gonna wish you guys a good morning good night good afternoon wherever you guys are in the world and I'll talk to you guys all later and everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile Ciao.